Good morning, everybody. My peace I give unto you It's a peace that the world cannot give It's a peace that the world cannot understand A peace to know A peace to live my peace I give unto you. Jesus said this, My peace I give unto you. It's a peace that this world cannot give. It's a peace that the world cannot understand. A peace to know to live my peace I give unto you Amen I'm sure you know as a believer you're thankful for his peace as well uh, it's so true John 14 27 Jesus said my peace I give unto you my peace I leave with you not as the world gives give I unto you let not your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid so I just pray that today you'll experience the peace of Jesus Christ you know he's on the throne see that little light up there the Sun is always shining above all the clouds Jesus is on the throne and the Bible says in Isaiah 26 3 thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon thee the prophet Isaiah in chapter 9 verse 6 gave some of the names of the Messiah who would come in the Old Testament he he prophesied for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. So with all that is uh, causing anxiety in our hearts these days, all the turmoil, uh, many folks with physical problems as well, illnesses, sicknesses, and other worries, I just pray that each one of us could just experience the peace of Jesus Christ today. You know, he's totally in control. An old song says he's got the whole world in his hands. Sometimes I think back to when he was arrested in John chapter 18. They came after him to capture him and put him on the cross. And they said, are you Jesus Christ? And he said, I am. And in John 18, they all fell down. They all fell backward at the 
just hearing the power of his name, he said, I am. So he was totally in control even at his arrest and all that was to follow at the cross. And he rose from the dead and he's seated at the right hand of the Father now and he has accomplished our redemption. And we can rest in that. You have a great day. God bless you.